I'm Liz from Night Owl Crafts Australia. In another episode of What You Can Do With Zucchinis, we've come to zucchini cake. We've done zucchini biscuits so far for dogs, but this time it's the human's turn. For this recipe, you'll need three medium-sized zucchinis, or two larger ones, the rind and juice or rind of two limes plus the juice of one. You'll need one and a half cups of caster sugar, three eggs beaten, two teaspoons of vanilla bean paste, half a cup of pistachio kernels, three quarters of a cup of almond meal, two cups of self-raising flour, and two teaspoons of ground cardamom. You'll also need three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil, and in this case I'm using olive oil. To the two cups of self-raising flour, we add two teaspoons of ground cardamom. This will then get sifted and ready for addition to the cake mix. In the mixing bowl we're putting one and a half cups of caster sugar, to this we add the zested rind of two limes using a zester right we've put the zested rind of the two limes in so now we will add three quarters of a cup of our oil Straight into the bowl. We then add three beaten eggs. I like to use free range eggs wherever possible. They have a much brighter coloured yolk and I can't bear the thought of chickens as battery hens in cages. The eggs we whisk thoroughly and then add to the mixture in the bowl. To this mixture then you need to add two teaspoons of vanilla paste or vanilla bean paste. And this has all the lovely seeds of the vanilla in it. I tend to err on the side of being a little bit generous with the vanilla paste. Make sure you get every last little bit out into the bowl. And then, I didn't lick my fingers, I washed them. Um, mix the mixture up thoroughly. You will find that it will thicken slightly as you mix. Just give it a good stir until everything is well mixed in and the sugar is as dissolved as possible. You can use a mix master to do this if you prefer. Doing it by hand you can feel the thickening as it happens. Now 
Right, so now we can start to add the other ingredients. It's obvious that Tosh is aware that this mixture or this recipe is not for her. So we need to get half a cup of chopped pistachios, three quarters of a cup of almond meal, and grate the three zucchinis ready to add to the mixture. You'll need to chop the pistachios as finely as possible, but not turn them into a powder. I find it's better to do it by hand, as if you put them in a blender or other automatic chopper, you might, may find that you get them far too fine and you want your cake to have a little bit of crunch. We've finished chopping up the pistachios to a rough chop and we'll now grate the three zucchinis. We want to use the grater on the larger bore grate rather than the fine. Having washed the zucchinis you then proceed to grate all three of them. Zucchinis might seem like an odd choice to put into a cake, but many vegetables can be used very successfully to make delicious cakes. Beetroot can be used, carrots, of course, parsnip, you could use pumpkin, and any other vegetables that you can think of that you could try. Now having grated all of the zucchini, you want to just gather up all the little bits and then these get added to the cake mix. So having chopped your pistachios and grated your zucchini, they all get added into the cake mix. And mixing these in, we then follow with the flour and the almond meal and the cardamom. So we'll just give this an initial mix before we add the flour, the cardamom and the almond meal. So the three quarters of a cup of almond meal goes in. And we then sift in the two cups of self-raising flour and the two teaspoons of cardamom. The cardamom has a very floral fragrance to it. Getting every last little bit and any remnants that are in the bowl. And then this mixture gets thoroughly incorporated. It has a very nice smell to it from the cardamom. Once the flour and the almond meal is all mixed in, you're then ready to add it to the cake tins. Don't overwork the mixture at this stage because it can become a bit tough if you continually mix it. You can use one large tin um, to put all the cake mixture in. The photo that you saw at the beginning was one large cake. However, for our purposes today, we're going to be making multiple small cakes. You can use baking parchment to line the cake tin, or you can use a, a baking spray. And in this case, I'm using Bakel's Sprink Spray. This needs to be shaken well and then a liberal spray into the tin to well coat it. This is a non-stick pan. However, I still like to give it a spray with the sprink. We'll now pour the mixture into the cake tin, filling it to about three quarters full, giving it a little bit of room to rise. We'll put a bit in this tin.
evenly spread the mixture out. One eighty degrees Celsius or three seventy five degrees Fahrenheit for about thirty to forty minutes. So this sized cake eventually took forty five minutes to cook through. We've tested it with a skewer and that's come out clean. So now with the sprink spray, you need to get the cakes out while they're still hot. If you leave them in the pan until they're cold you will find it extremely difficult or if not impossible to get them out in one piece. So just tipping them out and then onto the tray to cool. Once the cakes have cooled apply the glaze over the top and then we will be sprinkling chopped up pistachios over the top of the glaze. And that finishes the cakes off nicely. Thanks for watching the third in this series of what you can do with zucchinis. This particular recipe I found in a Better Homes and Gardens magazine published in Australia in 2005 and it has been much loved ever since. Please continue to watch for future videos and check out my website on Night Owl Craft Australia. Thanks again. say I like to give the spray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>